Oi, Gizmo here. Hey, hey, Gizmo here. Welcome to my next adventure. It's New Year's Eve. Believe it or not. I caught up with some buddies of mine. We're heading out on a trail today. I have no idea where we're going, but it should be a good day. So, uh, enjoy yourselves. And we're heading into the uh, South Diego National Park again for another um, trip on New Year's Eve. So, let's get on with it. <laughs> Here we go again, just going straight into the scrub. Watch as they disappear into the wilderness. So uh, yeah, just a nice hike just before um, it's for New Year's Eve, uh, just something to do to bring in the new year and what better than to catch up with some buddies and go on a, on a hike just for new year, on New Year's Eve. <laughs> Get home at the end of the day and uh, you can watch the fireworks, it'd be great. So as you can see, our pathway has uh, become a little bit thick. Is there a better one? Hard to say. <laughs> How good is your pattern recognition? The better it is, the more paths you can see. <laughs> <laughs> Even if they're not real. We have our tail gunner, Dick, <laughs> on through. What's that? Our tail <laughs> gunner. It's sunny out now. Yeah. Oh, we're, we're probably through the worst of it, I think. Cool. So there you go. That was a bit of a uh, mission, but we're through. <laughs> so, what's today's video about? Well, nothing really. We're just going on a hike for New Year's Eve and uh, I'll just piece together all the things I've done throughout the year and uh, make a little um, video on all the little bits and pieces that I've done throughout the year so you can see my adventures as it's progressed, the ups and the downs of uh, this year. We're just coming upon a nice little crop of uh, staghorns growing on a tree and they look spectacular. You'll be right though. Where, where are we looking? Yeah. Big ones! Woohoo! <laughs> so the, uh, the South Diego National Park, New Year's Eve, I can't think of a better thing to do. This is great, catching up with a whole bunch of bike guys, hiking through the scrub <laughs> on New Year's Eve. What a great thing to do. Life don't get much better than this. It's really dark here in the rainforest. But, um, yeah, it wouldn't be coming out as dark on camera. So 2022 has been an up and down year. So we've had our goods and our bads and um, yeah. Hopefully 2023 will be better. Uh, sort of, we've had COVID and we've had floods and we've had, you know, just a lot of stuff happening throughout 2022. So fingers crossed 2023 is a better year. And so here's a little um, re-look at how Gizmo's Bush Escape started in 2022. Let's take a look. As I progress, it's not looking good. Okay, well, we'll carry on a little bit further, but I dare say I'm not going to be able to get to any of my mate's place because 
it's going to be flooded. So there you have it, the end of the journey. Road closed, can't go any further. Okay, well the path's cleared up quite a bit. Um, we're carrying on. Well, I can't think of much better thing to do on New Year's Eve than get, getting in my favourite park and hacking my way through the scrub <laughs> in Lantana. But, as I've said before, the only way to get the good stuff is to do this sort of thing and reveal this park's hidden secrets. We must be pretty close to Hellhole Creek just down there. Isn't it? Just there, you can see the drop. There. Yeah. Whenever I do something that uh, requires rope work, I usually call on my buddy Mark. He's always up for the task. This is one of our trips we did. So I called up with my buddy Wayne, we did a couple of camping trips, which was awesome. I like you hanging around, but don't mess with my food. Mm. Don't try to sneak up on me now. That's stupid. Yeah, so I had some uh, fun doing some uh, trips in my Delica. Here's some of those. I did Hell Hole with my mate Ryan. I did a, uh, an awesome trip with Travis from uh, Beyond the Backyard. That was a great trip. This is that trip. I did quite a few trips with my mate Jason from Biker Bites. Um, yeah, we went on quite a few camping trips this year. They were great. Uh, yeah, some of the bad things that happened this year. I've had a few problems with my back and that's plagued me throughout the year. I got rid of the old Camry. Um, my wife wanted a new car so I ended up with her old Mazda. So I was quite happy, but the Camry was a good car. I was a bit sad to see that go. Uh, yeah, and I did a lot of work with the Delica, starting to turn that into a camper van. Like I've got a long way to go yet, but it's getting there. So all in all, 2022 wasn't that bad a year for me really. And today, I caught up with my buddy Bob and all my, my friends who uh, love the South Diego National Park. We love hiking in the park and uh, we did a couple of trips this year with my buddies in the Diego National Park. I mean, I come here all the time. I've done lots of trips this year in the Diagla National Park. So yeah, 2022 has been good. I mean, it's had its ups and downs, but well, but yeah, it's been a great year. So as we wind down 2022 leading into 2023, I thought the perfect thing to do is to uh, go on another hike in my favorite part of the world. South Diagla National Park and uh, yeah this is the trip that I've been waiting for <laughs> 2022 tie off the year perfectly so let's hope that 2023 is another great year as we um, head off into the future unknown okay well, we've pretty much made it down under the creek we're on a little section which is almost on the Long Ridge walking trail and uh, we're surrounded by vines and everything, it's really cool. 
We'll be down on the creek in just a momento. There's a pretty big tree that's got hooked onto it. Yeah. Oh, right, it's there. It's going there on it. There's a massive giant, massive giant feed just here. Um, what sort of tree is that? Is that just a fig? Well that's one of the figs but I don't know what it's on. I think it's on that looks like a brush box. I'm not sure you can't see for the leaves. It's a uh, yeah, massive tree with this fig rolling up it. It's just crazy. Looks really good though. Yeah. That is a big, the iron, the iron wood's a bit bigger than that, isn't it? It's a little bit bigger than that. It so. doesn't have a fig growing over it, strangling fig on it. And this is what we come into the bush to see, these sorts of things. It's <laughs> yeah. awesome. Yeah, that's right. It is. Yeah, it's, all it's all worthwhile. Isn't it, Bob? It is. It's all worthwhile, mate. The birds are going around and moving all the coffees or whatever. We're in a little yeah. grove of uh, hoop pines here. And there's two hoop pines just behind me there that are about a foot apart. They just go right up really high, that close together. It's just amazing. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. So we're now on the long range walking trail and uh, yeah, we're heading that way. Okay, we're now working our way down onto the uh, creek, the Inogra Creek. We're going to cut across the creek, I think, and then um, head up the other side. Creek just down there.
This is cobalt. Isn't it? This is cobalt. Isn't it? This is an ironwood. No. Well, it was a good one you did there, Bob. We got through there all right. It was interesting, that. Eh? Yeah, you know, coming through there. Yeah? I might have to down the old track too, I don't know. It's huge. Is, mate. Yep. I'm looking at yep. that's, a, that's a lignum vitae. That's a bloody one of the slowest growing trees. Very hard wood. Has little red berries. Bloody hard to propagate. It takes forever to grow. But look at it. It's obviously been here a while. <laughs> come over and yeah. This. So we're just working our way back down onto um, Hell Hole. Um, we're at the pretty much at the junction of Hell Hole and Nogra. Yeah. So now I'm on Hill Hole Creek again. Uh, that's the junction of Anogger and Hill Hole just behind me there. And we're just heading up here, continuing the long range walking trail. Okay, we're coming across to a nice little spot now. There's a tree with a lot of moss on it. it looks amazing. This place to shelter out of the rain. Just looking above the leaves. I can't fit in any further in backpack. That's not really the great, that's really the key. Okay, this tree, this big tall tree, there's some orchids like growing right up in the top. Let's see if I can zoom up and show you. There's one just there growing on the side. Be nice to see them in flower. And then further up higher. There's another big one right above our heads there. Wow, that's pretty cool. They're up pretty high. Well, I've just come across this section, this open sort of swampy section. It's really, really nice in here. It's really open. So 
like a big swamp thing, a big tree. How cool is this spot? A big swamp down here. Cool. There's some sort of little like kestrels in the tree just there. If I can get zoom up and zoom up on him. I'm not so, so sure what sort of kestrel that is, but I'll look it up. Look it up. He's looking at me. better way to uh, bring in the new year than to go on a hike at New Year's Eve. Um, this is Gizmo signing off. If you like my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and you'll get a notification when I put a new one up. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the new year. There's a little peelback snake just down there on the bank. Gizmo signing off for the year 2022. I hope you've enjoyed my journey over the last uh, year in my videos. Um, me and all the guys who would like to wish you a happy new year. Happy new year! Bye! Bye.